Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita. Today we're gonna teach you how to build a wood fence in your backyard. Now this is where we started. The first thing you wanna do when you're planning out your fence is to check your lot boundaries to make sure you're building the fence on your lot land. You wanna be sure to check your HOA and your CCNRs to make sure there isn't any restrictions and then check with your local municipality to see if a permit is required. After you've planned out your fence location, you should have an idea of how big the fence is going to be so you know how many supplies to buy. You can see here that we're using cedar fence pickets from Home Depot. You want to be sure to go through each and every one of those and discard ones that have large knots or any that are warped or twisted. This may take some time, especially if you're building a large fence like we were, but it's definitely worth it. You'll save on the waste. When you get everything home, you can start digging your post holes. You wanna use a post hole digger for this and dig down two feet deep and 12 inches wide. You can see here that we added a little bit of water to ours. That's because our ground was really rocky back here and it just helped um, make it a little easier to dig. After the post holes are dug, you can add the post to the middle of the hole. Then you can pour in some dry cement mix and water. We just mix our cement right in the hole. It makes it a little bit easier. You can fill the hole with the cement mix um, up to about three to four inches below ground level. And then you wanna add water slowly directly into the hole and just allow it to saturate that cement mix. You can also use your shovel to kind of manually mix the cement and the water in the hole. Now before the cement hardens, you wanna make sure that your post is nice and straight and level. Um, we just use a four foot level for this. Once it's nice and straight, you can choose to just brace it to the ground with some landscape stakes, screwed into the fence post or some two by fours. Be sure to check the cement mix instructions for the cement that you're using for the correct dry time and then of course wait that length of time before moving on but next you can start connecting the post with your rails so you want to measure and mark the first fence post and screw in the rail bracket into place and then put the two by four fence rail into that bracket and hold it level up to the next fence post and then you can go on and mark that second fence post where that bracket should go now both the brackets should be screwed into place with um, deck screws and then you can screw the two by four rail into those brackets. And again, all these screws that you should be using are deck screws, which are made to be outdoors. So you can see here, our fence is coming along. There's a little bit of a slope that we had to work around in the front portion, but it all came together really nicely. Chances are that your fence posts probably aren't gonna be all exactly the same height when it's said and done, so you can feel free to just chop off any extra with a reciprocating saw as we are showing you how to do here. So the last step is of course the most tedious of all and that's adding your fence pickets. So you want to um, lay out all your fence pickets on this fence and then just screw them in one by one. There should be two fence screws per rail. So six screws in total on each fence picket. Didn't it turn out great? It made such a huge difference in our yard. It gave us a lot of privacy and it helps just enclose it for the safety of our kids and so our dog can run around. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hop on over to our blog post. There's lots more information, including some frequently asked questions and that's linked below here. And then be sure to check out our other videos that go along with this on how to build a wooden gate for your fence and how to set your fence post into a rock base. Hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to subscribe and like this video and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.